Alright guys, welcome to this preseason exhibition race between SSR and OTL. Around Spain. Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya, you know the one that does preseason testing. Everyone knows it. Most people don't like it. It's whatever is your choice. Does that make sense? Hopefully. TV slash safe space racing. That works, hopefully. If it doesn't, then, um... Oh, they have a bot that does it. Oh, that's actually sick. Oh, I don't want to hear myself. No thanks. Oh wow, this lobby's actually filled in pretty quickly. Um, sick. Barcelona, Catalonia, Ca Catalonia, Catalonia, Catalonia. <laughs> this is not really a favorite for people. Oh, the Spanish GP is happening. I thought it wasn't. Sunday, 16th of August. Oh. Bring it home, OTL. No, SSL. SSR <laughs> I said it wrong Hopefully you don't bring it home I mean, No, I don't want you to crash like I just don't want you to win an all OTL podium <laughs> No, thank you Do you think that Spain should have that chicane? The final chicane? On F1 2020, it's really bad. And, um, like the old circuit, the MotoGP track just doesn't have that chicane. You just go straight on and then turn. Do you really think there should be a chicane there? Watch me get ping saying I'm doing this all wrong. Oh, 
Hopefully you can actually hear me properly and everything's going to normal. 15, uh, 15 drivers? Oh. I wanna go on Do Not Disturb. Do not. Do not invite me to a party. Good, I'll put on Do Not Disturb. I don't want my friends joining. Oh, it's on invite only anyway. So we have 14 drivers, someone's left. That, yep, all good. Oh, thanks, thanks. Let's have it. <laughs> yes, let's have it. Come on, lads. And lasses, and non-binaries, and whatever you identify yourself as. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Got two spectators? Oh no, and he just hasn't chosen a car. What do you, what do you think of the... Um, what livery? What livery do you rate? Like, what livery do you think is the best? I love how, um... Do you know in, like, the, um... In the grid sequence, Lewis Hamilton is wearing a black cap, um, <laughs> and Bottas is wearing a blue one. I'm just like, why? Why? Why are you wearing a blue cap? Commentators and that. <laughs> What's your favorite livery? Red Bull haven't changed theirs in around six years. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I thought you assumed my gender. I said whatever you identify as. The black Mercedes. Williams is all right. Williams. So Williams' old livery was Colgate, and now their new one is like Oral B. Oh yeah, I can re-invite people that lag out. If anyone likes out, they can just PM me. <laughs> Hashtag not the Spanish GP. <laughs>
And now we are awaiting the start of qualifying. Radar 12525, thanks for the raid. What is eggs? Um, a food. Is it no? Oh no no! Uh, eggs eggs are eggs are a type of shoes. Anyway, now we are now qualifying is underway here. Who is Ch Chikaka? <laughs> Mike2020, thanks for the follow. Glenn Rogers, 44 thanks for your following. Reckonal44, thank you. US Racer15, thank you. Luigi242, thanks. Lord of Fennel123, and Frisky. Now I would recommend, um, if you're starting on the softs, I would recommend a one, uh, two stop. But if you're starting on mediums, I think you should go mediums to hards. This track is really bad on tire wear, so I would rec I would recommend starting on the mediums. So two people, four people, sorry, going for a medium lap, going for a lap on mediums for the first part of qualifying here at Spain. That front left gets really, really worn out really quickly. Pray for carnage at turn one. It'd be exciting to commentate, I guess. Now Red Bull starts a flying lap on the soft compound tyre, the first person to go on a lap, followed by the Force India, sorry not the Force India, did I really just call it a Force India? Did I really just call it a Force India? Ah, we'll call it Jordan. So the Jordan is out from... Oh, yellow flag sector sector 3. Looks like a McLaren. I oh, know, it's just team orders, let Lando buy. Be in that dirty air with teammate Williams behind, just slowing down a bit too much there, just causing yellow flag. Red Bull comes out of the final corner, DRS open, and it's a 119.8 for pole position. Williams into the final sector, navigating the chicane pretty nicely. Onto the power. DRS open, crosses a line, 121.399. Oh no, the Alpha Tauri with a 118.3. That's, that's one of the OTL drivers. 
So 118.3 benchmark for pole position. Oh, make that a 117.2. That's two, one full second quicker than the previous pole position. That was on medium tyres, so extremely quick driver. his teammate by slowest time is from I think I see as a Williams yeah nothing really new compared to real life comes into the pit lane Oh, this is off at turn four, just at the exit. Maybe just losing the rear end a bit, or letting the car in front by. I think his tyres are pretty hot. He loses the rear end there again. So that's what happened with the Mercedes. Those rear tyres. He lit them up. Don't think they're going to be. In particularly good shape the other Williams coming into the pit lane oh and uh, McLaren just stopped in the middle of the track letting all the other drivers by right now it is a McLaren 1-2 then, then a Honda then a Red Bull 3-4 and then a Williams 6-7 make that a Ferrari pole position a 116.5 and then the Red Bull on mediums a 117.0 so the Ferrari is almost five tenths is five tenths above second place Very good lap from the Ferrari. Oh, but no, a Mercedes goes even quicker. A 116.3. I should pay attention to the Discord. I don't know why my laptop's turned off. <laughs> That is a very Colgate Williams. Oh, yellow flag. I think that's someone gone off. No, it's not someone gone off. It's just a Williams. Let's him buy. I think that's a Renault there. Yeah, just letting the Renault burst. Nothing. Not much of a... Not a big deal, really. The Renault is on mediums. Third place currently. Pole sitter into the pit lane. And I'm guessing so will the Renault. Yep. Yeah. Renault's coming into the pit lane. Uh, low fuel. A oh, bit of a lag there. But um, now the McLaren's coming in. It, before it was a McLaren 1 2, now it's a McLaren 5 6. So loads of drivers. Oh, that's why I cough. Loads of drivers. <clears throat> coming in, that's a Renault now coming out, and a Renault going in, just like a production line. Was that a Renault? I thought it was a Renault. Oh no, no, the Renault wasn't going out, it was going in. Oh. <clears throat> Everyone has set times except for SSR AJ. 
Reckon on 44 and Brand Williams. The Haas driver coming out now. Is he going to spin during the race? Maybe he might do a Roman Grosjean. Um, sorry, sorry, AJ. Uh, but um, oh, gets it all wrong. In exit out of the final corner, that's not beneficial at all. That's really going to hinder his lap because that exit was just horrible. Onto the gravel he went, and that's a McLaren. Oh no, a McLaren, or is that a? That is a red ball in front of him, so maybe a bit of dirty air there. I know the red ball lets him pass. The yellow flag, sector. Oh, I know that's just the red ball. See, the downforce is you need it pretty high, which is not makes it even worse for the tyres. But then you've got a 1,310 meter straight. That's the pit straight, so very long. It's straight. Cars here are on 72% flat out, full throttle, so. Oh. Now is he going to improve on his time? Yes he is. So one seventeen point seven by the Haas driver. Improving from that scruffy last chicane. Oh and the Williams is up to P2. That's you're not really gonna get that in real life. Until a very long time. Unless Williams bring absolutely dramatic upgrades into the British Grand Prix and absolutely dominates. I love that. <laughs> Watch out, Mercedes. Ferrari coming out of the pit lane. That is SSR Chalupa. Driving as Charles Lecher. He's fit at the medium tyres. Maybe he listened to me. Yellow flag, except the one. Someone's gone wide. I think that's a Red Bull. Let's see if he's into a bit lane. Williams letting someone else by, I think. Oh, the um. Oh, oh he's on an outlap anyway. But the Mercedes driver has a 1950 special edition helmet on, so he probably bought the Schumacher edition. And there's a there's a Haas. Mr. Haas just there, basically on the racing line, which is not really ideal when you're on a flying lap, but fortunately he was not, he was on an outlap. Oh, the Haas is coming in anyway. Low fuel. Oh wow, I love this on board. Oh, looked pretty close between a Ferrari 
and McLaren. Yep, it did. I thought there might have been a collision. Oh, moving around for temperature. Nothing I can see. I can't see any damage on his front wing, so I don't think there was a collision. But on the Ferrari, no. Ferrari spotless as well, no. Damage. Why do you not put on DRS during your outlap? Are you not supposed to? Because it reduces drag, which reduces... Oh, it's gone a bit deep there. Which reduces, like, um... Drag, basically. So I think it would be benef beneficial. And now... Waving around desperately to get temperature into his tyres. He now starts a flying lap. Alpha Tauri out the pit lane, or Alpha Tauri, however you want to pronounce it. Um, oh, I was close between McLaren and Williams. minutes 25 left of this qualifying session so if anyone wants to get a lap in they would have to leave right now but it's too late now because the lap time around here is 1 minute 60 and they do not you do not want to go flat out on your out lap so all the cars now not come out for another lap Ferrari coming into the pit lane. Mr. Sarkarisma has retired from the session. That looks like a big impact blocking the pit lane. If you did not DNF, you would have indefinitely been disqualified. And the Williams, a purple last sector there. So, looking pretty quick. Track evolution on this game is massive. So the Williams is currently in P2, but only by all oh, gone on the grass a bit there. Only by eight hundredths of a second. So if he improves, if he improves by just nine hundredths of a second, then he's on provisional pole unless someone can beat him. Qualifying is now complete. But will this Williams? Will this Williams get provisional pole? Fastest purple middle sector, so fastest in the second sector. Going into the last chicane on board with a helicopter. He's coming out of the final chicane, what's it going to be? DRS open, crosses a line, a 115.9 from the Williams driver, provisional pole by four tenths of a second. Wow. Now that is what you call speed. I have one thing to say to this Williams driver. No, I don't want this on.
that's what the Mercedes driver said. And the Williams comes along and says, This is a Lemon That's what William said. Williams on pole position by three tenths of a second. Then we have Mercedes of SSR Ulek in second place. And then the Ferrari in P3, Alfa Tori, followed by Renault Red Bull, Ferrari McLaren. Daddy Stroll, Mercedes, Haas, Red Bull, McLaren, and then Williams. That is the final classification. So Williams on pole position and Williams last. That's great. Hopefully formation lap is on. None of them like this track. Not no, not many people like this track. The last sector is horrible. Sometimes you just go flying into the sky. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to be racing. They're taking a while, aren't they? <laughs> Who's commentating? Um, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. One second, I'm going to test if you can actually hear me properly. Oh yeah, you can hear me perfectly fine. I'll introduce myself later. Introduce myself later. Finally, we got a countdown.
welcome all to the SSR vs OTL pre-season exhibition race with Williams starting from pole position. I am your commentator Abdul for the evening. 50% race around Spain. A 2.89 mile circuit. Right now, just getting ready for the race. A 1,310 kilometer straight plows down into turn one. Now, coming up to turn four. Coming up to turn eight and then turn nine, a blind right hand up with then a DRS straight. Drivers can use DRS. The from lap three, unless there's a safety car, if it's dry all throughout and if they are one second or closer behind another car. Now, coming up through to the last chicane, entering the last sector, predicted pit strategy, softs, two hards, or the two stop, which is mediums, softs to mediums from lap 11, and pitting on the one stop strategy is lap 12 on mediums to hards. So, there it comes up against so Williams on pole position and Mercedes in second. Then we have the Ferrari and then the only appearance of an OTR car in the top four, an Alpha Tari. Then a Renault followed by a Red Bull, then a Ferrari, McLaren, and then the continues. Now coming up to five red lights ahead of the Spanish Grand Prix and we are underway for racing for the OTL versus SSR race. The, for the Williams gets away well and the Ferrari gets ahead of the Mercedes. Coming into turn one will be a contact between the Ferrari and the Mercedes and it's chaos of the back and the other Mercedes takes to the escape road. Through turn three and up to turn four coming down the straight and Williams lead and oh there's chaos at the back and the the it looks like one of the yes one of the Mercedes the Mercedes have toppled has toppled down the order the damage and see and then I see now and coming up to turn nine Going all oh, going wide is the Renault that got past the Ferrari. So no safety car yet as now as of now, and the racing point gets past the McLaren. So the Williams leads from the Mercedes, from the Red, from the Alfa Tauri, from Renault, and then Ferrari. That's your top five. Then the other Ferrari of OTL Lugi, and then SSR Zamba and SSR Mod, and then. Chuffy Candy and then oh going oh getting a massive snap of O's dear is the McLaren oh oh that's not good at all he's plummeted down to last position which you don't oh no he's ninth oh what's happened is uh huh oh no oh no this game is really broken um apologies yes the Williams is leading <laughs> um that was sorry apologies that was really really confusing um
because that was a heck that was a pretty hectic start there. Um, I don't know what was happening with the. Oh no. <laughs> SSR only sets the fastest lap. Oh, blue flags already. The car being lapped. I'm sorry, this game is broken. <laughs> but anyway, we race on. I think that was Ferrari going wide. Yep, he's got the Renault right behind him. And the uh, Red Bull has got past the McLaren for ninth position. So who's leading? Is it an SSR car or is it OTL? Can someone tell me please? Almost going into the back of the red. No, oh, getting it all wrong for that final chicane. He's got a DRS on the Renault. Renault's just a bit too far back. Oh, he's OTL, thanks. Um, the Ferrari getting ever so closer. Oh no, the Renault's actually pulling away from him. Eight sec, eight tenths gap. Yeah, I don't know why there was a blue flag. Oh, no. I don't know what's happening. Um, oh, lock up. On the left-hand side. That's not... That's not good at all. So, SSR look with the fastest lap so far. I says, oh, Charisma, three second time penalty for multiple warnings. That's the first penalty we have today. Um, with this pack being really close together, that's really going to affect your, um, what you finish. So, maintaining a lead from pole position is Chris Wilson. And maintain in second place. Oh no, make that SSR Oleg getting past the Williams driver. So now, as soon as I said that he's retaining um, the lead, I spoke too soon. Mercedes has got past him, and Mercedes has got past the. Uh, sorry, a McLaren has got past the Red Bull. I know the Red Bull scrap backs, and I think, yeah, that's a that's a McLaren toppling down the order, going wide. He went wide before there, and battle for the lead, five tenths. And the Mercedes has got the um, the advantage of the soft compound tyre, but after a few laps, the Williams, I think, is on a better strategy, because the Williams only has to make one stop. The Mercedes could go for one stop, but their tyres at the end would be really worn. Or a bit of contact and... Oh, oh no, forcing them out wide! That wasn't going to end well at all. The Williams trying to go round the outside into turn two didn't work out for him, and he's lost out. But was th was the gap there, or was it not? And there's a McLaren. Is McLaren off? No, a McLaren into the pit lane. Yes, there was a McLaren off, and he's got broken sideboard. 
Oh, that's not that's not good. He's gonna have to come in. Next up. Oh, now Chris Wilson is ever so closer to the Mercedes. Into the chicane, he's right on the gearbox of the Silver Arrow, and right behind him is the Alpha Tauri, who might, if these guys keep squabbling, might join the party. And now the Williams with DRS, OCL Luigi with the fastest lap, he's gaining, he's gaining, he can't go for a move into turn one. He's going to stay within three tenths of him, the, McLaren, the Ferrari getting past the Renault. Oh, and SS Charisma, another three second penalty for exceeding track limits. So he's got six seconds worth of penalties. This, this pack is really bunched up from, from first to seventh. Oh, frisky three second penalty, even multiple warnings. The top seven are four point of basically five seconds away from each other. With which, if the leader got a, pe a five second penalty, would put them all the way down to seventh place. Or oh, Chris Wilson right on the back of that Mercedes. Mercedes uses the overtake button to get away. The Williams does have DRS, but it's not really going to be helpful. Into the pits comes a Ferrari. Out of the pits comes a Ferrari. Everyone in the OTR Discord is probably absolutely roasting me. Um, Chris Wilson is right on the back of SSR. Oh lag! He's got DRS. Is he going go? Is he going to go into a move into turn ten? Wow, well, that's English from me. Um, no, he's not. But he's still right behind him coming into the last sector into the chicane he looked like he was gonna go he looked to see there's a gap but there wasn't he enables overtake mode doesn't get a very good doesn't get very good traction hotel Luigi with another fastest lap oh and that's an alpha Tori was it out the pit lane? No. No, he's just defending from OTL Ludi. The two OTL cars scrapping it out. And at the front of the field, only six tenths in front of us, we have uh, Williams. So, Williams Esports P2. Hmm. Right, no, 4 4 with the three second penalty. He's got DRS down into turn 10. He does not deploy over 10. He's not going to go for a move into turn 10. Oh, Mercedes just goes a bit deep there. And now... Well, was there a bit of contact there? I'm not sh so sure. Oh, but the... Absolute... Oh! Contact. To turn one. Wow, that's a great kind of shot. Mercedes is still in the lead. 
Oh, and the, the Alpha Tori is just weaving across the circuit. And OTL Luigi's right behind Frisky Heat. Remember, he's got a three second penalty. Chris taking a more cautious way to get past. He has to get past here. Yep, he's going for a move around the outside. It's, it's, oh, Oleg defends down the inside. He's going to go around. Oh, and Frisky gets past OTL Krugi for the podium place. Oh, and into the pit lane comes SSR Oleg, those soft compound tyres going off, and he's got a five second penalty. I don't know what he was doing. He's got a five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. He's going on to the softs, medium, sorry. So. He's definitely doing a two-stop strategy. Trying to get an undercut. He comes out. He comes out 12th. And SSR Charisma has a three-second penalty. I think someone else had a three-second penalty as well. Maybe cutting that last chicane. It's not really 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 serious risky to go on to Oh no a three second penalty for Frisky He's got six seconds now, it's not amazing. Chris Wilson has zero, so Both on the same tyres. It's both in the same boat. So who's going? Is he going to go for an overtake? The one-stop strategy pit window is now open, according to AWS. And now the Renault was looking for a move down the inside. It wasn't going to work. Lock up from the Renault. OTL Luigi gets past the Alfa Tori. And both of the McLaren drivers plumb last, unfortunately. So, oh, Chris Wilson, a three second penalty for exceeding track limits. That was barely, that was barely exceeding track limits, but he's got three second penalty, and so does OTL Lugie. So the top seven have not pitted as of now. Um, SSR Tulipa has and he's to keep is on the medium compound tire. And so has SSR Oleg who came in on lap 10. Oh goes a bit deep into then. SSS Charisma, three second penalty, that's another one added to his total. Um to their total I should say. Um and Chris Wilson is into the pits, into the booth. The leader. Onto the hards. So one stop strategy from Williams Racing. He will come out. Oh, where's my telemetry gone? Sorry. He will come out in P9, so still in the points. Oh, and going and crashing and spinning is Regnor and SSS Chalupa. He's got loads of penalties and that's not going to benefit him at all. Into turn two, doing what Lando Norris and Sergio Par Lance Stroll did last year in 2019. They've recreated it here on lap 13 of the Spanish Grand Prix exhibition race. Oh, right now that's a three second penalty. I don't think he really cares anymore. I think he's really, really annoyed. Um, yellow flag sector one for no reason. 
And into the pits goes OTL Lugi, the Ferrari. Onto the heart for a one stop strategy. So in the lead is Frisky, who I would imagine is boxing this lap. His mediums are 14 laps old, but he's pulling away from SSR mod. Also on the mediums. And the Mercedes is get got has got past well no because Rechnor was in the pit lane that releases the Mercedes into eleventh position and SSR mod a three second penalty for exceeding track limits. Well, oh, Frisky's really pulling away on 13 lap old mediums. Maybe tyre wear for SSR mod is really bad for him. I imagine um, Frisky's coming into the pit lane and it, no, he's not. He's not coming into the pit lane. He's staying out for an extra lap. SSR mod is into the pit lane and the Rando is in the lead of the SSR versus OTL preseason exhibition race. And Chris Wilson up to P4. Up to P3. He is on the hearts. And Frissy's really pulling away. Is he pulling away? Oh. No, I think the Mercedes is closing in on the Renault. You don't really want to ruin your tyres, but they are going to... But the Mercedes is going for a two-stop strategy, as they started on the softs, as I recall. Coming into the pits, I imagine. Unless he stays out for another lap, it will be an ambitious tie strategy. No, he is coming in. Oh, what's this next pit entry? Um, so, where is he gonna come out? You lose around. You lose. He's around 16 seconds in the pit lane, so he's not going to come out first. He is going to come out third. No, he's going to come out. Where's he going to come out? He's coming out. Yes, he is coming out third. And he's on another set of medium compound tyres. So he is going for the two stop. Aggressive strategy, but is it going really going to pay off? He could have gone. He could have gone for the one for the one stop, and he would have come out third. And that would be amazing track position. Because you'll be on fresher hearts by around one lap, so... And tyre wear's really bad, so that one lap can make all the difference, and it looks like there is a car off, and that is a Haas. I told you, I told you, he, I said it before he would do a one my on, and he has spun into the entry of turn three, into the exit of turn 2, um, I would say. So that's really ruined his race, just coming out of the pits and he's spun. So he's into P12. 2.3 seconds, the gap. From the leader to Chris Wilson, remember the leader is on medium compound tyre, the faster tyre, but he I would imagine is going for a two stop. Chris Wilson has already pitted and from soft mediums to hards would make it comfortably to the end of the race. A lot of love and support in the chat from o from OTL. SSR AJ into P12. He is in P12. And that gap 
from 2.5 seconds has now shrunk to 1.9 from Chris Wilson. Getting pretty close between these two drivers, they've been really close for all the 17 laps. Risky with the fastest lap of one, I can't read that, a 119.0. It's been 60 minutes of this stream and we are on board with number 63. Let's go Candy and Lugi, a lot of support from them. Um, they are battling, no they're not battling, Candy is in P8 and Lugie is in P6. The gap is now 1.8 seconds, so looks as if in the last sector, um, Chris is losing time. In the first and middle sectors, he's gaining lots of time. Oh, Chris Wilson, three second penalty. I saw that coming. I thought he was going a bit too wide there. And he's got a three second penalty for exceeding track limits. Gonna take a look at the race director. Oh. That's a lot. That's a lot of penalties. All oh, going wide. I think he, I saw that. This is actually a three-second penalty. Yeah, he just he just dipped some tires onto the gravel, and that has cost him. One full second before it was the gap was two seconds and now it's three seconds, and that has allowed Frisky to close in on him. Frisky on the two-stop strategy. He's on. Seven seconds. Wow, he's really closing in and he's on the slower tyre. And Chris is on 70 errs. Um, Frisky's on 21 errs. And SSR Oleg is on 22. So they've really wasted their ERS. It's going to be hard to get that back, but. Chris Wilson has managed it perfectly. I think the drive, most of these drivers are worrying about their ERS. Yep, and SSR like is on zero ERS. That's not very good. That's not very good, is 13 laps to go. Oh, battle for fifth position. Close. Lock up on the front right. Both Ferraris. Oh no! Shaluka Sh Sh is into the pits. Going on the softs, I would imagine. 12 laps on softs, I don't think I would. Be very good. Mm -hmm. 
even lost support for Wilson. Oh, and Mercedes going past. I know Ferrari is just in the pit lane coming out now. So Chris really has the net lead. I may go on to win. Oh wow, it just kicked me off board. <laughs> I tried to go on board and just said no. This is our Zampa, 3 second penalty, rip. Williams gaining in most positions. P14 to P10. So everyone has made a stop. Except for Toffee Candy. Oh, he, he started on the hards. Oh, that's interesting. He wouldn't... Has he gone for... No. He's got zero... No, he has made a stop. I was, no, yeah, he has made a stop. I don't know why this game is saying he has not made one. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just really confused. Five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane, I saw that coming. Oh, oh! Oh, raising point spinning. Just before sector three. I just saw that. Just went into a spin. These tyres are going to be really hot there. Lift up the rear tyres. Turn 11, DRS. Tufty Candy is on the mediums. Maybe could have gone for the softs. No one really around him. Oh, an SSR Oleg did come into the pit lane. He is on soft, I'd imagine. Yes. Is he? No, he's on mediums. I would, I would think he should go on soft, so he could have gone for fast to snap, you know, track evolution and stuff. But anyway, Chris Wilson is in the lead by a 1.6 second margin. Risky behind him on on mediums and SSR mod behind him on hards. Oh, and SSR Oleg and Ben, Ben and Williams are really battling. Chris Wilson a three second penalty. Does Frisky have any? Does Frisky have any um, penalties? I would imagine um, he's got two two penalties. Chris Wilson has three penalties. So Chris will need a three second gap at least. But Frisky does have the benefit of the medium ties and they are fresher. I'm not sure if they can go to their end. He has the benefit for now. 
So he would want that track position now. But it's not like he's going to get it because Chris is driving pretty decently. No, that gap is now less than a second. Risky's now in DRS range. Now he's out of DRS. Up towards turn 9. Still out of DRS range. Now in DRS range, but will not have DRS. He's in the pure slipstream. He's on zero errors. He's on zero ERS. Oh, and now he is in DRS range. Will he have DRS? No, he won't. But he's using overtake mode. He's going to be on zero ERS pretty quickly. It's really hard to manage it on this game because if you leave your overtake button on for too long, then you're really done for the rest of the race. Frisky is close, but is he close enough? That is the question. Oh, and SSR Zamba is on softs now. So he's gonna be ultra quick. He's stuck behind a slow moving. Slow moving racing point, racing point weaving around the circuit, which you're not allowed to do to break the toe. That is mm, not effing black and black and white flag already. Wow, have you ever seen a scene of Lewis Hamilton in six? An SSL mod. I oh, know. Frisky's into the pit lane, he's, yeah, has to go into the pit lane, he's going on the soft compound tyre. So he's probably going on for fastest lap. Chris Wilson has a 5 second, almost 6 second lead to SSR mods, so he might win this Grand Prix. I don't want to speak too soon, but... There's a high chance he will.
That was a nasty hit. Nasty little spin from the Alpha Tori. I think he... Did he collect other drivers? I don't think he did. Oh, oh. And I think, yeah, his front wing... He's lost his front wing. Not fully, just... Oh, that's, that's a nasty, that's nasty. He's gonna, gonna, gonna be coming into the pits. On the penultimate lap of the race. Yeah, but that's, that's not good. Now up towards turn 9 he goes. Now he's just got one more sector to go. He's 7 seconds. Almost. He's just got one more sector to go. Chris Wilson now is going to cross the line. He's going to win on the road. Is he going to stay in the lead? Is he going to win? Yes, he will. Chris Wilson wins the SSR versus OTL exhibition race. Followed closely by SSR mod. And OTL Lugi is on the podium. And o SSR Oleg, who had a really good race in the opening laps, finishes fourth for SSR. SSR finishes second and fourth in the top five. Congratulations to Chris Wilson. to the team OTL you've won this one OTL comic drive today. Williams win.
guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, it was a very close race, it was a really fun one. And uh, I gotta go now, so uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much.